Saudi-led airstrikes in Yemen, military tension between the Gulf states and Iran, and the rise of Islamic State has led to greater interest among Mideast countries to bolster their armed forces. I think if you're looking in the Gulf region, I think you see a number of factors in play, one of which is obviously the combat operations in Yemen. You've got fleet replenishment. It, it's a competitive market in terms of fighter aircraft, uh, simply because there are several companies out there who are keen to keep their production lines open. Saudi Arabia spends the most on defense in the Mideast. With about 40% of the region's total outlays last year, the International Institute for Strategic Studies estimates. These countries are bulking up their defense capability and jet makers want a piece of the action. This year, Egypt became the first export customer for the French Rafale fighter. It was a big breakthrough deal for French plane maker Dassault Aviation, which had embarrassingly lost out in several competitions. Egypt and Qatar, between them, have ordered 48 planes. That's worth over $10 billion and it secures the plane's future to the end of the decade. But the outlook is less rosy for the Eurofighter Typhoon. Jointly produced by BAE Systems, Airbus and Finmechanica, it has had 571 orders, but those have come mostly in its home markets. Export orders have become scarce. There is a comparatively near horizon for the end of production for domestic orders. A typhoon, um, you're looking at 2018, 2019, 2020, depending exactly what happens, although obviously if you get more export orders, that extends the life. South Korea and Japan opted for the newer US F-35 Joint Strike Fighter instead of the typhoon. But typhoon's fortunes may be improving. Kuwait has agreed to buy 28 of the jets. Now others are feeling the pressure, like Boeing, with its Super Hornet. It hasn't sold any planes in the Middle East buying spree, but the US plane maker isn't giving up hope quite yet. The biggest jet plane program globally is Lockheed Martin's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, but it isn't yet a player in the Mideast arms race. The US government has decided not to export the stealthy airplane into the region, except for sales to Israel, to preserve its close allies' military edge in the neighborhood. That's forced countries like the UAE that would like to have the jet look elsewhere or simply wait. A big combat jet purchase by the UAE is a prize that's been dangling out there for aircraft makers for some time. When it may be awarded is anybody's guess.